All right, guys, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on how to determine some information on your LS-based engines, your 4.8s, 5.3s, 6.0s, 6.2s, et cetera. Um, so for any of you guys that are trying to determine whether you have a active fuel management slash displacement on demand engine, what you're gonna wanna look at is your valley cover. This is gonna be underneath your intake manifold. So I have your water pump here, intake manifold here. What you wanna look at is this valley cover underneath it. So if this valley cover is all veiny like this, then that means you have displacement on demand. Um, this is gonna go for your Gen 4, Gen 5, uh, 5 3s, um, stuff like that. Um, now, if you have a flat valley cover, like perfectly flat, flush, uh, you do not have active fuel management. Um, another thing you want to check out for is uh, your valve timing. A lot of these have uh, variable valve timing. Now, a way to determine whether you have that or not is this front timing cover. Um, this one does not have it. Therefore, this upper section of this timing cover is flat. So this does not have variable valve timing. If you have variable valve timing, you'll have another circle here with three bolts and a plug coming off of your cam position sensor harness that is plugging into another harness, another sensor going in there. So those are the two things that you want to check. Um, later, uh, you know, Gen 4 ls engines 5.3s they typically do have variable valve timing this is an earlier gen 4 this is out of an 07 yukon it's an aluminum block with 799 heads um so the only thing this had was factory active fuel management